The Philippine Navy PN's dream of having a modern and multi-capable naval force is now closer to its realization. The launching of the Philippine Navy's first HDF-3200, 3,200-ton, guided missile corvette will happen in the coming months, within this year. The two new guided missile corvettes will be the strongest warship of the Philippines so far, and more equipped than the Jose Rizal-class frigates. Just like the first landing platform dock, the first 3,200-ton corvette of the Philippine Navy will be delivered next year, 2025. In a momentous crescendo of maritime transformation, the Philippine Navy is poised to unveil its groundbreaking HDF-3200, 3,200-ton, guided missile corvette, marking the genesis of a new era in naval supremacy. This heralding of advanced naval capabilities is not just an acquisition, it's the orchestration of a grand maritime symphony that positions the Philippines as a regional powerhouse, equipped to navigate the intricacies of the evolving geopolitical seascape. Sculpted by the artistry of South Korea's HD Hyundai Heavy Industries, these guided missile corvettes transcend the boundaries of traditional naval might. Beyond their steel and technology, they embody the aspirations and strategic vision of the Philippine Navy to not only defend its maritime borders but to assert a dynamic presence in the West Philippine Sea, where shifting geopolitical tides demand heightened vigilance. The impending delivery of the first 3,200-ton corvette in 2025 is not just a logistical feat, it's a manifestation of a comprehensive modernization endeavor that positions the Philippines on the front line of maritime defense. In the face of evolving threats and geopolitical complexities, these vessels stand as sentinels of national sovereignty, ready to defend and protect against any maritime challenges that may arise. Both the two guided missile corvettes and the six offshore patrol vessels was acquired by the Philippines from South Korea's HD Hyundai Heavy Industries. The first OPV warship of the Philippines will be delivered in Manila by 2026 and the six will be completed in 2028. This will surely boost the naval presence and defense capabilities of the Philippines, with the ongoing geopolitical situation in the West Philippine Sea and in the South China Sea in general. The Horizon 3 phase is expected to focus on enhancing the archipelagic defense capabilities of the country, so we can expect more of frigates, corvettes and amphibious assault ships to be acquired in the coming months and years. Yet, the narrative extends beyond the inaugural corvette to encompass the steel-cutting ceremony for the first in a fleet of six HDP-2200 offshore patrol vessels OPVs, a strategic milestone expected to unfold within the current year. This fleet, born from the collaborative prowess of the Philippines and Hyundai Heavy Industries, represents a multifaceted approach to maritime defense, not merely vessels, but guardians of national interests, poised to patrol and secure the nation's maritime territories. The partnership with Hyundai Heavy Industries signifies more than a transaction. It is a shared commitment to technological excellence, mutual growth, and a vision of fostering regional stability. It lays the foundation for a lasting collaboration that extends beyond the immediate acquisitions, with the potential for knowledge transfer, skill enhancement, and co-development initiatives in the future. Embedded within the broader Horizon 3 phase, the modernization narrative reflects a comprehensive strategy that reaches beyond the mere acquisition of naval assets. It envisions an archipelagic defense capability that is adaptable, resilient, and capable of meeting the multifaceted challenges of the 21st century. This forward-thinking approach positions the Philippines not only as a reactive force but as a proactive architect of regional security. As the geopolitical tableau continues to evolve, the Philippines is gearing up for the acquisition of frigates, corvettes, and amphibious assault ships in the coming months. This strategic move reinforces the nation's commitment to being at the forefront of maritime defense, crafting a robust naval force capable of maintaining stability, ensuring peace, and safeguarding national interests. In summation, 
The unfolding saga of the Philippine Navy's epical surge is not just a maritime odyssey. It's a symphony resonating with resilience, strategic foresight, and an unyielding commitment to shaping the maritime destiny of a nation. As the vessels set sail into uncharted waters, the Philippines emerges not only as a maritime powerhouse but as a beacon of peace and stability, navigating the dynamic seascape of the South China Sea and beyond with unwavering confidence and authority.